Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to have a quick look at some budget eyepieces that you may have seen online on the usual auction site or they may even come, and they do, come as standard with, with some uh, budget astronomical telescopes. But before we do, we'll just go through all the uh, letters and so bear with me. With some you'll see H there which stands for Huygens or Hygens, sorry if I butchered that net pronunciation. And these are what you call they are, are all of these are, are twin lens elements obviously with some of the budget ones the, they will use budget glass probably not as dense as, as the higher grade ones and th they will use little or no lens coatings so the H is, is for hygens or hygens twin lens, lens, lens elements and this is what you call a plano convex lens assembly so on each lens element you have one flat side and one convex side with these the flat side is pointing towards the eye, the, the, the eye on both lens elements. With the SR eyepiece, which is symmetrical Ramsden eyepiece, it also has a doublet. But, and again, plano convex, meaning one lens element side is flat, the other one is convex. And by convex, I mean it's thicker in the middle of the glass than it is the edges. But and with these, the convex side of each lens points towards each other in the middle. And all, these are all air-spaced lenses. Then we come on to the ones with a K, a Kellner eyepiece. And it has one plano convex lens, and it has one lens that is convex on both sides. And finally, the Plossel eyepieces, which has two convex lenses, uh, as, as opposed to all these others which have at least one lens with one flat side on it. Have you all fallen to sleep yet or are you still watching? So let's have a quick look at each one eyepiece, each eyepiece in detail. So this one you can see SR 4mm just in case you've seen this one online and you think that looks good I'll have one of them. 4mm you'll get a lot of magnification for that for a tenner. Well that's the theory. In practice I would say if you get a load of these and string them together, they wait, may, they uh, make really good wind chimes. And but other than that, I can't really think of a use for them. Something uh, slightly better is the SR four mm eyepiece. Let's get it focus there. SR four mm um, These often come uh, unbranded, or the ones that we sell it, they come branded optical hardware, and they're usable. They feel very lightweight, so there's probably a lot of cheap glass in there, no, no lens coatings. Nice blackened edge there. This one had a nice shiny silver inside, which is what you don't want for astronomy, because you'll get lots of internal reflection. But this, this eyepiece it is budget, but it's usable. You're going to look through it with most telescopes, and you're going to see the craters on the moon, and planets, maybe not. Um, but it's okay for getting you started. It's a cheap and cheerful, cheerful eyepiece. Don't take it seriously. And it does the job. As does this Kellner eyepiece. And straight away this feels nice and weighty. So I'm guessing there's a nice metal frame there again. But why again they have these nice shiny silver internals I don't know. Whether or not you could paint something in that I'm, I'm not sure. But, but yeah a very usable eyepiece for, for, for looking at the moon and getting you started as is the SR eyepiece and possibly you'll see the moons around Jupiter depending on which telescope you've used but, but definitely usable um, this one here you probably recognize this this is the one you get with the Skywatcher well with most Skywatcher telescopes that you, when you get the super 10 millimeter and the 25 millimeter or is it 20 i can't remember and these are classed as modified achromatics which i believe is a type of kellner but eyepiece but correct me if i'm wrong and yeah you get a very pleasant view of the moon and probably m m most of the planets as well it, you know you are moving on to a different category of eyepiece now and the, the quality is a lot better and one eyepiece that surprised me was the h 12mm eyepiece and I thought that the Skywatcher one which I just looked at would be much better than this but surprisingly considering with the Skywatcher you get this fold down rubber eye cup 
with this with this H12 millimeter, it's all one fixed plastic one there, nicely darkened edges. Tick a big tick there. And I was surprised how close this was to the Skywatcher eyepiece, the 10 millimeter. So if you if you are after a mid-price one, this H12 is really nice. And the the H12 again, this one says H12 just the same as this one. But I, I found the, oh dear, got silver internal edges. What, why, why do they do that? And um, another thing I noticed with this one is that the, the thread inside, that is not standard filter thread, so you won't be able to put any filters in that eyepiece. So that's the H12, just in case you see that one about. The H12.5 I've just picked up here, that straight away felt much lighter than the one I previously looked at, probably due to the construction. Um, Again, it's a usable eyepiece, but you get a very, very narrow field of view. And so then we're moving on to this final one. And this you may see under various brands. And um, don't be too much put off by that. You know, there is a bit of silver there inside, but it, it, but but deep down in inside, there is some nicely blackened edges. And th this is the Kepler Optics 25 millimeter plus eyepiece. Compared to everything you've seen on this table, this absolutely blows the rest away. A really, really wide lens element there, as you can see. It is long eye relief, and so you have to get the practice of putting your eye about there. If you put your eye right up next to it, you, all you'll see is, is blackened edges, and uh, you won't be able to see a very good view. And But get the correct distance of your eye away from the eyepiece, and you'll be treated by a glorious... It, Field of, it only says 40 degrees there, but believe me, when you look through it, it doesn't seem like that. So, and and also, I'm not going to do it completely, but you can unscrew it there if you want to clean the internals of each lens. Um, sh should it get some internal dust? But that, that's just a quick run through anyway of a few budget eyepieces, eyepieces going through the various ones, whether they're um, SR, H. K for Kellner or, or plus of eyepieces. All, all eyepieces that you, you, you'll find on, online, I, I would say, looking around. It, um, I would say all but one, the SR 4mm, the, all the others are usable. Uh, the, the budget 4mm eyepieces, just, just stick to the moon. Don't don't use the Barlow lens with any of these eyepieces except the plus because you'll be disappointed, believe me. The temptation is to push the magnification too much with all with all eyepieces, but aside from that one, the SR four millimeters, all the other eyepieces, they do the job on a budget. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and please check out the link in the description below.